Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Kerbal Space Program, where you can see what today's theme is going to be. Space Tourism, where we have a lot of tourists who want to go on a lot of suborbital flights, and they're willing to pay us a pretty sum of cash just to do it. So that is what we're going to do. Flying to the moon is going to be something we'll do in the future, preferably once I figure out a little bit more about the exploding re-entry issue here. But we have a lot of space tourists who want to see a lot of things, including a few that want to actually fly by Minmus. So we are definitely going to see what we can do with them. So the, the next, so this is where we're going to be milking for money the next few times. One thing about the career mode for Kerbal Space Program is some people will say it is a little bit grindy. I don't think that's wrong. But what do we get here? Patch conics visible on the map. Are we ready for maneuver nodes? I think we're pretty close, but I kind of want to float some cash here. I could upgrade and allow Kerbals to be able to perform EVAs. I think planting flags is more important. So we'll get that. We will want more missions to be able to take on simultaneously. Maybe we'll do that next. But for now, we got to fly. Research and development, that's, oh man, that's expensive. So right now we have low tech, but that's okay. And down here we don't have to worry about upgrading that just yet. So let's go and go to the hangar. And what are we going to fly to take our tourist into space today? Obviously we need a command module, and I think we need another command module. I could actually fly with three command modules. But that seems like a good idea. Alright, so that way if we have Jebediah piloting and we have Arnis and Miguel going into these command modules, everybody just gets to be like, okay, I'm a tourist. How, how much is the tourist going to level up? I don't know. But they want, they want to pay to say, oh look, I'm a space girl or whatever. I'm a space tourist. You pay me enough money, I'll fly you to space. There is something way more clever that I could say there, I'm sure, but this shouldn't be too bad. Like I said, the only requirement is that it's a suborbital flight. So that means we actually need to be into space, but out of, like, bad times. Does that mean we have to worry about uh, re-entry again? Uh-oh. Are we going to kill some tourists today? I don't know. One thought I've had is maybe I should just dump. Maybe I should just dump another heat shield on the front here until we can uh, figure this out. Maybe we'll try that. And then we can put some uh, radial parachutes like so on here. So that way we don't have to worry as much about things exploding. And that heat shield should protect those. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So what's next? Of course, as soon as I do this, it's like going to just fly on the side and the heat shields won't matter. So how do we actually get these people into a suborbital flight? We need a fuel tank. Actually, the first thing we need is to stack the coupler. Now, once again, I did upgrade my parts. So the engineering bay, I now have a much higher part limit to play with. But I still have funds that I have to keep track of. So we're not going to do anything terribly different from what we had last time just because we are going suborbital. So we don't have to concern ourselves with being able to perfectly circularize our orbit and all of that. So that's not a bad lack of problem to have. We will go ahead and do, let's see here, four of these. I like how that worked out last time. So we'll do these here, big solids. Well, before we do that, let's actually put the, uh, let's put this, I like having the control. So we'll put that there, put this here, and hopefully we don't burn up. That would be the goal. Winglets, four by four. That's pretty good. Nose cones. We're not going for science, we're going for tourism. Anything else is uh, a bonus. So not science. Of course, I should probably try and collect some science just to uh, upgrade my stuff just a little bit. But we can actually perform EBAs out in space. So technically I can have Jeb or one of the tourists pop out. We'll see about that. And that could be That could be good. Because EVA reports over different areas, over different biomes, are a great way to get uh, science. But let's go ahead and fly for tourism. That's the main focus of this episode, so let's do it. Okay, so nighttime launch. I think we're going to switch this to a uh, daytime launch here. Let's just watch the stars go. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Sunrise anytime now. There we go. Daytime. Quick save. 
Let's go ahead and Jeb, who is just off of the brink of dying from last time, is going to just say, I'm so nice, I'm going to take you all out into space. And uh, once again, having some uh, old habits with not checking these ahead of time. We have multiple parachutes for multiple cats. I think we're okay. Let's find out. We probably need more struts. Probably I need to start my uh, gravity turn early. So once again, you can't just do it later. Well, we'll see what we got here. I have better fuel tanks. I have much bigger fuel tanks. So while I have a heavier load to try and take on, look at look at these tourists. They're like, what the hell did I sign up for? Oh, you wanted to go to space and you just got stuck in a tin can. All right, so we got to not pitch down here. That's a good start. We have things exploding already. I assume that's solid boosters hitting each other and not something that we should actually worry about. All right. Okay, let's not lose control. I said let's not lose control. Yeah, I love this. How many G's are these girls going to have to deal with today? I don't know. So we got a much more aggressive gravity turn. This may not be the most efficient thing since sliced bread, but I did not opt for patch conics. So we're just going to see if we are. We're flying right now. We are not suborbital yet. So we got to see, can we survive and can we let the tourists survive? Kind of a two-for-one challenge today, isn't it? Where there are other places where we can actually send people to try and make it somewhere. Let's actually look in the IVA. What do you get to see? You, oh my god, they actually give you buttons and stuff. I don't know if there's like an actual snack bar. Oh, not the button we want. All right. Why did that happen? Okay. Let's control this from here. Because we want the nav ball to actually do nav ball things. 80,000 meters is probably enough. Because we're not going for a full orbit. I said suborbital. Right now we're just flying. We want to do more than flying. And I don't want to be dropping too high from the atmosphere to make this happen. So hopefully we don't kill the tourists. Is that our slogan at uh, the Kerbal Space Center? Hopefully we won't kill you. I mean, there is the Mars One mission that I've heard plenty of people talk about before. That's just like, on the one hand, I can understand the glory of uh, being one of the first people on another planet or something. But on the other hand, it's like, it is a suicide mission. Pretty much, you sign up for it and you have killed yourself in the eyes of the Earth because it's not something for return. Granted, that is kind of like the same thing with... Uh, there's all kinds of books about Mars and people traveling there. Red Mars is probably my favorite of those by um, Kim Stanley Robinson. And a lot of those people felt very liberated about going to Mars. So there we go, suborbital flight. Look, we can just ditch them. They are good to go now. So do we have anything else here? Let's go ahead and do a crew report. Nope. Let's do an EVA report, actually. Unfortunately, the, other, the tourists can't EVA. So EVA over Kerbin's water, that's eight science. Can we do anything else here? Nope. Board again. All right. So it looks like that's probably the only EVA report we're going to get here. But cash money is still good on the suborbital train. So let's just go ahead and, uh, well, I don't have to really burn my remaining fuel. We're just going to splash down. You got to go in the space. You got to see what it's like. And look at how happy they are. Uh, they went from being horribly terrified to this is awesome. So not so bad. Tourism. It feels good. Let's see if that tingling sensation uh, lasts a little bit, though. So I could possibly EVA report right there. That's usually a bad idea. Let's go ahead and ditch this part. So decouple. And now we just get to worry about, OK, are we going to actually do the stupid thing and have this thing fly sideways when I have heat shields on both sides? which is probably exactly what's going to happen. Which really makes me wonder about uh, like old landing strategies that I have that just have the rocket pointed down and stuff for like just return flights places. Because I've relied in the past on just being able to burn my engines. But okay, I hope you guys like G-forces because we got a lot of those. So far, the most Gs they've encountered is five. That would explain their faces here. We've only been flying for four minutes. So how much are these people paying for just a tiny flight? 
I guess the people who are flying the Minmus and want to take snacks are really going to be paying the much higher premium here. So let's see. Once again, the terrifying moment where you wonder, can, and I talked about this last time, it's like, okay, things are looking pretty good. Things are looking fairly good, but the tail is really going to be, can we survive re-entry? I did not play with the deadly re-entry mod before, and now I am suffering the consequences. We may actually make a landfall landing, which would be really surprising. Not what I went for at all. So, anytime now we're going to hit the atmosphere. Last time I thought I was doing pretty good because I wasn't angling down into it. I was going perpendicular. We'll see how this one goes. If I just flip forward for whatever reason. I don't have any nose cones here. Which is why I said I'm a little concerned that this is going to go kind of to the side because the air, the air doesn't have a lot of places to go. What would be way worse is if my parachutes just exploded, though. That would be one way to uh, end space tourism is having your parachutes explode. It's like, oh, you wanted to make it? Uh, I think that's actually... Uh, are those command pods on fire? Are those command pods actually going to explode? That would not be good. I, the heat shield's supposed to be guarding against that. Is this heat shield actually guarding against that? Are we going to lose a tourist? I said that that fire effect's pretty, but it doesn't tell me really a lot. So I want to wait until. Okay, we're we're trying to pitch back. We're trying to pitch back right now, and we are. We are barely making it. Okay, so we got a parachutes. Whoo! SAS off. And I probably could EVA right here if I can manage to hold on to this. We'll just do a crew report instead. Yeah, flying up above the grasslands. Not so bad. So any little bit of science we can get, we may actually... I don't know if the... I have the EVA. I don't know if I can take soil samples or not. But I didn't kill my people. I just put heat shields on both sides. I guess it's what I'm going to have to do until I can figure the rest of this out because this is... That's one way to keep my ship from exploding, and at least these didn't boom off either. So pretty view. I don't have a lot of ground scatter or anything, but how did this heat shield do? That heat shield didn't even get used, of course. This heat shield actually got quite a bit of work. Not bad. So anytime, anytime. We have a lot of parachutes. Look, we're right on the coast. The space tourists are like, yeah, 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 this is fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. That was the best 10 minutes ever. There's so a lot of things you can do in 10 minutes that don't cost as much. You could buy groceries. You could go for a walk. You could fly into space. No, you can't fly into space. And boom, and please don't explode. Boom, there we go. And roll. All right. Can I actually, I cannot even EVA with them right there. That's too bad. Let's see here, Jebediah. What do we have? We still have the EVA report from flying over the grasslands. Let's reset that. Let's go ahead and take data and store experiments. He is just uh, rolling off here really weird. So EVA report from the grasslands wasn't entirely necessary. So no soil samples yet. Let's actually go ahead and run to the beach. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is going to take a really long time to run to the beach. I don't think it's going to give us anything new, but look, it's like a fun little tourist spot. Can I plant a flag? I can plant a flag. Finally. I've played hard mode for so long without being able to plant a flag, I kind of forgot what it was like. But there is the flag flying. Tourism gets success without explosions much. There were a few on the initial launch, but overall not so bad. So let's recover the vessel. And I guess we should probably recover the tourist as well. Jebediah gets no experience. So let's see here. I can't actually target it from right here, which is too bad. Where did y'all land? Y'all landed, wow. Okay, y'all landed over here. It's a little bit of a surprise. Not science. Let's see. Not science. Let's just recover it. Yay. And what do we get? We get a little bit of science from suborbital in this. We get a little science from the experiments and everything. And we get, they actually get one point of experience for being tourists. That's cute. What does our uh, mission status say now? 
Still fly to the moon. Visual surveys. Test some of these things. Two tourists around their destinations and back. And some of our tourists wants us to go to the moon. So we could start to stack some missions pretty well here. Yeah, you want to fly to Minmus and you want to fly fly by Minmus, orbit Kerbin, orbit Kerbin, fly by Minmus. At least they're asking for the same things. Fly by the moon, fly by the moon. Wow, you, okay, there you're not. He wants Minmus and the moon. So maybe you can take him on multiple launches, I imagine. So we can get... Uh, some basic experiments and everything here, but I am going to go ahead and ditch some of the uh, one star ones to see if we can do a little bit better. All right, so we'll do one more. Uh... Okay, we have two tourists here, and they want to do more suborbital flights. So we have ferry a VIP to his destination, which is a suborbital flight, and then more of these suborbitals. So it's just like farming straight up cash. Look at all the missions that we've done already. And then we're going to hopefully have some more missions available. That'll open this thing up. Is Valentina still back? Valentina's back! Alright, so I didn't actually delete her, and that's good. And look at all these. Look at, okay, so we have a VIP tourist paying funds to see exciting new places like suborbital flights. Let's see if we can do this without killing Valentina. Alright. How many more tourists do we need to pack in here? Because I think the answer is uh, many tourists. Okay. This is probably going to be a little much, but we're going to do it anyway. So who's our crew? Will this work? I See, I kind of want to experiment here, because if we can actually get some space science and actually return it, that would be really great. So we're actually going to do like this. And since we have things on both sides, we're actually going to increase the uh, kind of portion of this mission. So we have a decoupler that's right there. We do not want to do that at the same time as this. So let's move that down here. We do not want these engines going at the same time. So down explosions, up explosions, not science. We'll name this one maybe science. All right, so our pilot this time, Jebediah, finally gets a break. Valentina, and we haven't had much use for Bob or Bill. We'll get to them. They're going to start being really useful when we start flying other places. Seely, Lodbus, and Dudebin. Maybe one day these guys will actually join the, the force. But we do have actually some quests complete here. Suborbital flights, travel itinerary completed. So that's money. And we get reputation rewards as well. So... Here is Valentina getting to ferry all the plebes around. Pretty cool, right? And like I said, it's a fun new addition. And it should be some good extra money. This is, once again, a very expensive launch. But maybe we can get some science return on it too. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like we need some bigger dorsal fins. This is starting to get pretty ambitious with uh, all of this. So, Especially if we have an uneven uh, parachute mix. That's not good. So fix that before things get nasty. Do we have, did we double up on the parachutes there? Yeah, we'll just get rid of that. All right, so save it. Look at our stats, 34 parts, 37 tons. What is it? Just if you're ever not sure about something will fly in Kerbal Space Program, slap on more boosters, and then we'll see if we can slap on more science as well. Ready, set, let's fly. All right, so quick save. We have all this here. And once again, every single one of these people, they just want suborbital flights. So that should, that should be a thing that we can provide here. The more ambitious flights we may be able to combine with some other missions. But for now, 3, 2, 1, welcome to uh, Flying Kerbal Space Program. Look at how terrified they are. They're like, oh my god, I just signed up to sit on a massive pile of combustible material that just exploded under my butt. Valentine is like, this is awesome. I may have exploded before in space, but this is awesome now. So we got to watch it. This gravity turn is not being very agreeable today. But still, all we gotta do is get suborbital. We gotta not pitch down. Which is gonna take a little bit of work. Okay, so we got some problems. We may not need to accelerate nearly as high up, but there we're out of the first part of the atmosphere. The thrust vectoring is really nice. Once again, not the most efficient burn I've ever seen. And I'll get better at it as I get better with the atmosphere, but you know what? These wings are doing their work. So you kind of figure this out a little bit. 
And then we'll let Valentina do some uh, EVA in space as well. Space tourism is good. Now, I wonder if I can get these guys into orbit. Valentina's like, I'm going to take y'all to orbit. They're like, no, why are you taking us to orbit? Now, some of these things, we could probably get the tourists into two, uh, two groups or two flights since they uh, technically are paying. But, I mean, seriously, why, why do that when you can just uh, do it all in one go? They just want a suborbital flight. So they're probably going to get one in just a minute. And then maybe a little more than they bargained for. I don't know. We'll go 90,000. I really want to see if this is going to work. So we're almost in space. We can do another EVA report, possibly over the water. I think a good thing for me to do off camera just to farm is to fly over the different biomes and do EVA reports. And there's a lot of biomes now. So let's do the current report here. Nothing new. Science Materials Bay. This is still in the upper atmosphere. So we're not going to do that yet. Now we're in space. And just like that, all those check marks are there. Keep the datas. Observe the goo that was previously unobservable. I'm just going to keep all these observations. And let's see. Crew report from space. Not, uh, well, we just kept it anyway. EVA. Hello, Valentina. You are now in space. EVA report over the water. Jeb already got that, so... Technically, I can just end this right here. But is that what Valentina is going to do? No. Valentina wants to take these people as far away from Kerbal Space Center as her contract will allow her to. Which may not be very far because this is a pretty heavy ship. But here we go. They're like, wait a minute. We just signed up for a five minute flight. But now we're suborbital. But hey, guess what, tourist? You are now part of the testing sequence for. Can we actually survive a uh, flight and return? Because I think now that they're done, we don't have to worry about them anymore. Look, he's clapping. Ledbus is like, this is awesome. I'm going to dance. So this is this is what they signed up for, I think. And yeah. So we actually did get the landing on land there before. We're definitely not going to get it this time. So here we go, kiddos. Let's drop this down. It's like riding the school bus, except you're going a quarter of the ways across the planet. And now we just get to it. They're like, oh, this is pretty. Valentina's like, I'm alive. This is, this is what I live for. So they're all very excited. And then they get to see the fire and flames. While we're here, though, there's not really much more science to be had on this flight. But at least I have a pretty reliable design for maybe getting into orbit or around a little bit once I uh, figure out the whole explosion thing, which I guess until further notice is going to be aerodynamics be damned, dropping a uh, heat shield on both sides of it just so we don't have what we had last time. So let's actually not flip ourselves the wrong way here. So yeah, I don't even know this is this is Valentina's, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're we're pointed in the right direction technically. And are they're like, we're gonna go to the beach. This is great. You guys are not gonna go to the beach. You should already be on fire for going to the beach. We're going to the water. I hope you like getting seasick because you are about to get really seasick. Okay, so surface speed. What is our max G force that we've endured so far? Only four point six. That's. That's less than Valentina got in her first shuttle ride here. So here's everybody now like, uh, uh, we're on fire. I repeat, we are on fire. And one thing that really fascinates me is just how much longer you're on fire in the Kerbal atmosphere compared to what you used to be. It used to be the fire kind of subsided. Now you, you pretty much burn to a crisp. I just hope that this heat shield actually survives. We'll see it kind of go in real time here. Whoop, whoa, no, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't do this. What? Get control. Get control. There we go. Look, we all lived. Barely. 
But we all lived. Absolutely nothing exploded. Even though we actually almost got hit by the rest of the spaceship. That was hilarious. I mean... Okay, so I figured this is probably a little too tall to be stable. With uh, all the extra junk in the middle. And then it tried to kind of hot dog on the side. But still... We actually get to possibly recover some science from space for once. So that'll be a boon for our research. So see science and tourism, it can do it can do things together. So the ablator, that one, that one actually had to do some work on the back too. I wish I could see like the uh, heat damage from some of this stuff here. State tourist needs crew. Okay, this is funny how it's kind of floating down like that, but we shall hit the surface before too long. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, space tourism in a nutshell. In the coming days, coming videos, we're going to be expanding our sights into... Uh, boom, splash, there we go, we made it. There we go, 8.9 G-forces, that's more like it for you guys. Let's go ahead and just recover everything, because we've got pretty much the science we can get from here. So after a near-death experience that did not involve actually dying, and Valentina, she gained experience. I don't think she leveled up yet. We got all our space tourists back, and we've got oodles and oodles of cash, supposedly. Do we have any other good missions that are available right now? Definitely flying to the moon is going to be next, but I want to see. We still can grind for some more flights, such as he wants to go into orbit and he wants to go into suborbit. Well, you can get both of those in one go, but for now, let's go ahead and take a look at the tech tree and see kind of what we want to do next here, because we're getting fairly close to actual very good things here. Rocket Max brand adapter is not what we're looking for, though. I may have to actually think about some of this a little bit, because I can start doing some actual airplanes airplanes, which is a part of the element of the game that I haven't explored very much. I think if I'm going to be flying towards Minmus, I'm going to need the battery and I'm going to need the thermometer. So we'll definitely do that. So that leaves us 24 more science. For other things, we're not at fairings yet. I'm sure someone can point to me very quickly where fairings are on the menu. I don't think it's that. It might be, but I don't think it is. But regardless, that's it for now. This is Asher. Feel free to uh, like or subscribe if that's something you're inclined to do with here. Otherwise, thank you for watching. It's a lot of fun to put Kerbal Space Program stuff out, and hopefully these videos are informative, educational, and fun just like the tourist that almost just exploded with uh, Valentina, because that's Kerbal Space Program. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time.